G'day YouTube, how the heck we doing? It is Foulplay here, back for the fourth match of this Purple League. We lost to Darrow versus a Mazelle, and this sounds a little bit or light. We've got our manners, colors, which are good. I think realistically, we'd want to have one more aura if we were to look to keep this. So let's go and mulligan. All right, this looks a little bit better. Touch land light now, um, but should hopefully be a more powerful hand, more consistent hand. Okay, and we are versing the mirror match, so Ancestral Mask is going to be really, really powerful here. Uh, we hit the forest as well, so we can safely go the turn one Bogle now. Alright, so plans from our opponent. Utopia's rule on the forest for green, so I guess they're a bit more flooded with green cards than they are white. Ethereal armor. Alright, so that's going to be an attack for three for our opponent. No blocks from us. Another, another land off the top, so we're curving out relatively nicely here. I think it's definitely always going to be right to go Utopia Sprawl in the spot, right? I guess we Abundant Growth first, and then we either Ethereal Armor off the top or Sentinel's Eyes. It's fine, so we'll attack for two. And as long as our opponent doesn't have or get access to Ancestral Mask, we should hopefully be favored here. Right, so that's going to be a rough one. So our opponent's going to have one more power than us regardless. Um, and they also have the first strike advantage. So we're going to need to find an aura off the top, preferably ethereal armor. But are we just hit back for lethal? We're not going to go nearly as much as they have, are we? All right, so it doesn't really matter how we sequence our lands here. I'll Play is pretty linear. 14 damage, not quite enough. So we can attack, put our opponent to four. We have a sizable block or even just a chump block with the scout. We need our opponent not to get evasion though, most likely in the form of trample. All right, four plays three. Ah, uh, rats, so our opponent finds armadillo cloak and they're gonna take this one. Um, we might be able to do something funky in blocking here. It shrinks the creature. I don't think that works for anything. Let's just see what happens interaction wise. So currently they're trampling five damage. We should go to neg two and then their creature should shrink afterwards. Uh, so yeah, neg two and then their creature shrinks by four power. All right, so this is the segment of the video where I usually bring up opposing deck lists. Usually it's it's a standard bearer getting a sideboarded in. Gut shots to answer opponent's standard bearers. And after that, that's the most of it, really. We could consider Crucifix's insight. I think it's just a little slow. Probably we just take out Lotus Petal and board these cards in, and that should be pretty good most times. All right, good old no creature hand. Answers to standard bearer, though, in a plethora. Opponent uh, naturally keeps a seven. We're going to have to settle for this five. We just go off the power of our biggest auras. Uh, it's tough because first strike could be an important stat. I think definitely ditch one Utopia Sprawl. If we keep the Utopia Sprawl, it makes the like three mana auras more viable. But if we don't, we have to choose between Armadillo Cloak and Ancestral Mask. I think Mask is the stronger effect, but Armadillo Cloak gives us Trample. Stuff it. I'm just going to risk it. Ditch the Cartouche. This is too hard a decision. I don't want to give up either of these cards. Uh, Topia Sprawl Term 1 should be fine. I, I guess it's about the same as Scout. Alright, opponent with uh, Kalani Garden getting that plant token. And we're definitely happy if they're just like a turn slow here. That'd be really, really good for us, right? So we're going to take another turn setting up, another three mana aura off the top. So I guess the correct decision was bottom mask. We most likely won't need multiple copies. Um, and then we would have had a cartouche of solidarity guaranteed next turn. All right, Utopia Sprawl on white, obviously. All right, opponent with forest into Utopia Sprawl. Maybe they're going in on the plant token. I'd be okay with that. And commune with spirits. All right, so this time a finding rancor off the uh, commune. Ethereal armor on the plant token. 
Decision is attack or block. Either way, we're going to want to hit a mana source of any description. At this point, it's only really land, right? Attacking with that one, and we brick. Classic. All right, so Satessin training down. Draw effect. Still bricking on land. Man, that's so unfortunate. This really gives our opponent a chance to get back in the game. I get we had five cards starting hand, they had seven, and we're on the play, so they're up a virtual three t uh, cards, but... Uh, okay, going to second main. Looks like they're going to pump up their plant token and go on defense. Um, I, I think our opponent accidentally skipped through their first main there. I don't think it is correct to go on defense in our opponent's position. Um, I should be going Ethereal Armor there, actually. I was thinking about getting the Warrior token for a blocker, but Ethereal Armor plays better if we hit land next turn. Because then we can Ethereal into Mask, and we're in a really good spot from there, but now our Mask is slightly smaller. Um, but yeah, if we're stumbling and choked out on mana, um, we've got access to green and white, and we're not able to play our cards. Our opponent can probably take the initiative of that, be like, hey, look, their land's screwed. They have their three mana auras in hand. Let's hit in for as much damage as possible. So I think I disagree with the leaving back chump blocks. They could have instant speed interaction. That could be what's going on here. Do I load up on the vigilance token? Likelihood they have gut shot for vigilance token. I guess it's fairly high because they're not doing too much else. All right, we'll start with Mask. We've got multiple copies, so it's not as important. I th think we wait a turn on attacking. Um, either way, we're likely going to do da lethal damage next turn anyway. So let's just chill out for a sec um, and play around to revoke existence. Although I think that's um, I think that's sorcery speed. I'm sure there's an instant speed interactive spell like Natural State, Nature's Claim, that our opponent could be running. All right, opponent plays Abundant Growth on Kalani Garden, and it's gonna be in good things for us. And a Glade Cover Scout, one white mana floating, six in hand. Opponent is so land screwed here. Another Ethereal Armor. Okay, well, we're pretty okay with this. We still got the bigger guy. Our opponent is now tapped out, so we have perfect information. Oh, absolutely incredible. So we see a forest off the top going to be rewarded for our patience here and absolutely decimate our opponent with this attack. So that is a casual attack for 49 people. Okay, our opponent concedes the game. Um, so after seeing Kalani Garden, uh, a gut shot's just slightly better. I don't think we should be like hugely relying on it or anything, but let's resubmit. I think we're in a reasonable spot here. All right, so this hand, we've got three mana. Opponent keeping seven again. Our, either our opponent's got great luck or they're keeping some like iffy hands. Uh, no white mana in this hand. I do think we can do better than this. Uh, no white mana, no interaction. <laughs> and no like payoff for it. All right, well, this is great. We see a standard bearer. We don't have white mana though. We do have a gut shot as interaction. Okay, so we have five lands which give us white mana, and we have eight auras, so that gives us a total of 13 cards. Uh, 13 within the like first two draws isn't great odds for us. I think we have to mulligan and look for better. Unfortunate, because I really would have liked to have kept that. Oh my god, what is this garbage? We are getting absolute garbage here. <sighs> if we keep this... No, we can't keep this. This is rubbish. All right, well, this isn't much better. I guess we go to three cards at this point. Yep, keep this. Ditch, ditch, ditch. I think we try to blow them out with gut shot here. Um, like, it, it's literally a three-card hand. What can we ask for? We, we didn't even have a creature on our four, so we couldn't even kept our four and hope to have drawn a land source. Um, I think this is just horrendous variance here. Maybe we're getting punished for sideboarding out the Lotus Petal, but this feels pretty bad. So opponent starts with basic planes and paths. I guess they've got to cycle an Ash Barrens to get their green mana. I mean, we'll, we'll take anything we can get right now. Um, scout pass. Okay. Opponent does not cycle an Ash Barrens. Uh, maybe they've just got a standard bearer and they're just going to go the distance with that one. 
Topia Sprawl on Forest. This is very strange. Hopefully we draw a land here and then just like start comboing into some good pieces. Ash Baron cycled now. Wonder if that was an end, uh, like a misclick end step or like what was going on there. This doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. All right, we find Utopia Sprawl. We'll happily play it on white. All right, so Utopia Sprawl white, attacking for one, opponent on 19. All right, now our opponent plays out a Gleek Cover Scout, four cards in hand. Ancestral Mask. So this is going to be pretty tough to try and attack through at this point. Uh, I'm not really sure what we can do here. Hopefully we draw Standard Bearer and they can't grow anything else. Uh, we brick on Standard Bearer. I think our line is to test some training and try to draw something of relevance. Maybe our own mask, maybe some life gain. But we are growing our opponent's creature doing this, which is obviously not ideal. Our abundant growth from our opponent. Four in hand again. Three mana currently available. All right, we see Rancor, another green over there. All right, an opponent getting in for 13, so... I don't see a combination of cards where we can really survive here. Classic. So if we play our Cartouche of Solidarity as a blocker, it grows our opponent's creature by three. Uh, by, by two, pardon me. Um, and yeah, like we only block one damage after growing our creature by uh, two. So that's a net gain for our opponent. So we're going to concede on that one. Uh, that feels a little sad, really. Let me know which of the five hands in game three you would have kept below. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you then.